Welcome back to Amazing Animals. Today we're going to talk all about enrichment. Enrichment is super important with animals in human care, right? Things that mentally and physically stimulate our animals, keep them busy, keep them thinking, keep them exercising. It's really good for their health and welfare. Uh, when you have a pet cat or dog at home, you actually do this without even realizing it. Taking them for a walk, playing fetch, playing with a little toy with your cat, that's all enrichment. So what do we have planned for today? Well, I like to do a lot of natural enrichment, make sure the animals are having fun. So the foxes, we're going to hide some eggs in some cardboard tubes so they can tear that up. Foxes love to destroy things. Uh, our armadillo, just for some fun, he loves playing in the ball pit, so I think we should play with him. I love the ball pit. Yeah, play with him in the ball pit for a little bit. I did make some gum arabic, which is a natural sap that the marmosets eat in the wild. So we'll kind of spread that on things so that they can have some fun eating some yummy sap. Awesome. Yeah. So today's going to be a fun day. Let's go. cardboard tubes here that the foxes are going to love to tear up. So I'm going to squish one at the end, put some eggs in it, and I'm going to kind of close up the other end there so they can have fun tearing this up to get the egg. And then I've pre-made some of the gum arabic so it's a little bit of a kind of jello-y paste there. And this is to indicate or to replicate the sap that the marmosets would normally eat. So we're going to put it in a puzzle feeder kind of drizzle it around so they can lick all that yumminess up. And I've got to figure out how to move all the little pieces. Maybe. And then the marmosets also love a little bit of extra, extra fruit. Gambit and they have some awesome enrichment today and um, both Thor and Gambit were ex-pets. People had them as pets. Um, a lot of people buy foxes. They're really cute when they're babies. Um, they do not make good pets. They are wild animals. They smell. They have a must that comes off of them. It smells a little bit in here. They dig like crazy. Every morning we have to fill holes in their exhibit. And um, they're really mischievous. You've heard Fox in the Hen House, they love eggs. So they finally figured out that uh, we have some eggs hidden in there and they've been cracking open the eggs and licking all the insides of the eggs. Um, and they fight over who gets what here. But um, please do your research before you get a pet. A fox does not make a good pet. All right, so this is Marvin. 
He is our common marmoset, and we gave him his little puzzle feeder here. So let's see. Him get. So next we're going to do Bingo, the black tough marmoset, and Dill, our little three-banded armadillo. They actually live in here together, so we're going to give them both some enrichment to play with. This is going to be super fun for them. We have a little box for him. He's nocturnal, so he comes out at night, and bingo, above me here is diurnal, and he's active during the daytime. So it kind of works out because they're active at different times. We're gonna wake Dill up for the first time today. He's the cutest little armadillo. Get all this off of him real quick. Make sure he looks nice and pretty. All right, so here he is. He is super cute. And he's a three-banded armadillo because he has these three bands back here. And they're from the rainforest of Central and South America. They live in and around the rainforest in the grasslands. And he's a mammal. And this is his little ball pit. and he was another ex-pet that we got in and you know they are adorable little primates this is full grown he's about eight years old now but a lot of people get them and keep them in bird cages in their homes which is just not a nice proper setup for a wild animal like a marmoset once we got him outdoors about a month later he, his face got darker his fur got healthier from having sunlight he has a lot of fun stuff to play with in here and a much bigger setup so he's doing really well with us. We've had him for about three years now. But we get a lot of calls for these cute little monkeys that people see online and think are a good house pet and then kind of learn the hard way that this might not be such a good choice in your house. You gonna get that? 
Ding, ding, ding. Thank you guys for watching the vlog today. We hope you enjoyed it almost as much as the animals did. <laughs> they love enrichment and it's a super important thing we do around here at Amazing Animals. Um, mental and physical stimulation are key for the animals in captive environments um, for their welfare and their well-being. So uh, thank you guys for your support. Our Amazon wish list actually, um, I'll link it in the description of this video. Um, we put on a lot of enrichment items on there for you to buy and then maybe we'll do a vlog with something that you bought us off the Amazon wish list. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah we really appreciate it and we do I want to remind everybody that even though these guys might look really cute when they're playing with all their enrichment that they are not house pets that's how we get a lot of our animals here they take a lot of time and energy and knowledge to make sure that they're provided with the best environment that they can to be healthy happy animals awesome so thank you guys for watching and do something amazing